So within the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC for Elden Ring, there are specific item requirements for you to indeed get some of the best loot in this game. For example, an NPC whose quest you can complete will reward you one of the best weapons in this game, but you need one or two of these irises. But without these guys, you ain't getting anything. In this video guys, I'll showcase you the location of four of these irises. Many people thought there were only two, but there's actually four. Two of the Iris of Grace and two of the Iris of Occultation. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more out on Ring, be sure to subscribe. So as far as I'm aware, there are two NPCs in which you can use these Irises with. Yolan and the Fire Knight Quilleen. Both of these NPCs are tied to semi-quests, shall we say, in order for you to reap these rewards. Now there comes a point in both these quest lines where you get a choice to use either the Iris of Grace or the Iris of Occultation for a specific reward. You can't use both Irises on both NPCs, just one each. Now the Fire Knight Quilleen at the end of his path, he will give you the choice of the Fire Knight Quilleen Spoo Ash. Uh, this is received for you giving him the Iris of Grace or you can get the Fire Knight Quilleen's Greatsword, issuing to give him the Iris of Occultation. Now, in regards to Yolan, the Iris of Grace will reward you the Knight Yolan Spoo Ash, uh, and the Iris of Occultation will earn you the Sword of Night, which is one of the best weapons in this DLC. Now, we won't cover quests in this video. I will, however, link them down below in the video description if you do want to check them out. In this video, guys, I'm just going to showcase you the whereabouts of each Iris and how you get them. Now the path to these I will showcase will be in full route as I always do but I will also place timestamps for each grace we pass en route to these items. For players to skip to they've already got these graces unlocked on path to these irises. So firstly we'll start with the iris of graces. So the first one guys is located within the shadow keep. But from the high roads cross grace we head into the shadow keep. Which if you haven't already been here guys, you will have to take out the Golden Hippo boss blocking the path. But following the path leads you right to where you need to be guys. Straight through the Golden Hippo's Grace point and then onto the Iris of Grace.
So the second Aries of Grace location is also found within the Shadow Keep area, but within its depths. Now, if you are yet to get here, it's quite a trek, but again, nothing skipped. Grace is time stamped. Now, we will start at the High Road Cross Grace Point and make our way past the Morph Runes Grace in and beyond Bonnie Village through and past the bridge leading to the village grace, past the Church of District High Road Grace and then into the Church District entrance. Then we go on and remove that water which we need to do and then we travel down further to the Sunken Chapel Grace and then onto the Isles of Grace itself. Now the Sunken Chapel Grace is also the grace we need to come to to get the second Isles of Occultation so it's a good grace to have unlocked.
So once you get to this point guys, interact with this and it will remove that water. Then guys, follow this path down onto the sunken Chapel Grace and then onto the Iris of Grace itself. Okay, so we'll now move on to the Iris of Occultations, and the first one is received upon you taking out an enemy with any four to have reprimand. So again guys, from the High Road Cross Grace, here we head south past the Morph Ruins and into the fort. Beneath it is an enemy you need to take out, upon you doing this, you are rewarded the Iris, but make sure you pick it up obviously. The second Iris of Occultation is found just near the Sunken Chapel Grace Point, but we do need to take out an 
enemy. Nothing too hard, although he is pretty big. I somehow did this without even knowing this was a reward or this boss was even there. Something happened in game, it must have bugged out, he died. I got the iris, simple as that. But from this sunken chapel grace, follow this path I take on screen now and you'll come to this tree spirit enemy. Who again will spawn in right here. You need to take this big bastard out and upon doing this, you will be rewarded your second Iris of Occultation. And there we have it guys. The end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.